All right, so I made it into my put-in. Had to go over some pretty nasty rock cap to get in here, but this is as far as I can go because there's a creek down there. So I already uh, footed it out and it's 10 minutes from here. So uh, I think I got a triple carry to do. So I should be done in about an hour, I'm figuring. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it's, this is going to be an adventure. Uh, walk the trail. No, there actually is no trail. There is a partial hydro corridor, but no trail to the lake. So I'm going to have to blaze one in. All right. Made it to my destination here on the lake. I'd, I'd like to pronounce the lake for you, but I can't. It's wee wee something, blah, blah. I don't know. But anyways, there's the tent and I got some stuff there. Just pulled all the gear out just to make sure I got everything that I need. And anyways, that's what I ended up walking through. There is no trail. I kind of blazed my way here and uh, had an idea of where it was. It wasn't too far. It was like about a half kilometer or so. But anyways, every trip that I took was a different route to get there, but made it. Uh, so canoe was right there in the water, already went fishing for a few hours, caught a whole pile of bass. Fixed up the fire pit here, got it ready uh, to be lit and split some wood for a fire tonight. But anyways, it's a beautiful lake. Like, look at this, look at that. And this is just one small little finger of this whole thing. It goes all the way down there. And technically this is a, uh, uh, a canoe only lake, but so far I've seen about oh, half a dozen boats go by. Anyways, if the M&R ends up uh, catching these guys, they're going to get a serious fine. All right, anyways, I'll uh, show you on the way out uh, tomorrow when I leave, but uh, having fun right now. Here's an island that's uh, in the middle of this lake here. I think that's kind of cool there, where the rocks have all kind of broken away and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, I can't say enough about this lake. All right, we got uh, sunset happening right now. It's 8.45. Temperature dropped about 5 degrees. The wind dropped to zero. Every once in a while you see a breach in the water from a bass. But uh, it's a very spectacular evening. And even the bugs aren't too bad. The mosquitoes have basically gone away for the last uh, half an hour. So I'm going to get my fire going in a minute and yeah, have that. I am so happy out here. Oh, it's so nice. get too much better than this. What a little piece of paradise out here. Well, good morning everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Look what my day starts off today with. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at the mist just coming off. A little chilly last night, got down to probably about six or seven, but man, I slept great. I think I'm going to sleep outside from now on. <laughs> oh, weird. Beautiful, beautiful. Most important time of the day, coffee. So the back held out reasonably well. 
part of the reason for doing this uh, this trip was uh, well, first of all, to get some solitude. The other thing is, I hurt my back on uh, on Monday, and uh, you know, just kind of just kind of tweaked it. But like my my thought is always, you know, try to work through something like that as opposed to just. Yeah, maybe it's kind of old school, just uh, kind of making it relax, but, uh, uh, yeah, I just find it works better when you just kind of push through something, when you know it, it was I knew it wasn't an injury, I knew that I didn't hurt anything other than uh, a muscle strain, so uh, I figure putting things back the way that they were, by just working through it is probably the best way to do it. Um, I could be completely wrong, but I feel a way a lot better than I did on Monday. So, once I get my coffee in me, I'll even feel that much better. Oh. Well, maybe not perfect, <laughs> but that's 56 years old. Doesn't get much better than that. Bacon, eggs, beans, coffee, in a happy place. Alright, I'm going to take a load out uh, before everything gets really, really hot. So this time I've got my compass and I've got a bearing point and I'm wanting to go through there. So I'm actually going to blaze a trail uh, with my axe as I go, but I'm going to be going uh, in the direction of my compass this time because last time I went, man, it's so easy to get turned around in a forest. like. Uh, I can't say that enough. Know what you're doing when you're going out there. Uh, I didn't have far to go, so it was not that really big of a deal. I could also hear the highway behind me, and the lake is big enough. Eventually, I'd hit the lake, so there was no big issue, but it was just a lot of wasted time, so I am not going to do that again. I hate, hate, hate wasted time. So, prior planning and preparation prevents piss-poor performance. All right, made it back. Yeah. That was an adventure. And getting through the forest the, the second time much better when I properly marked the trail out. Uh, I took the ax, blazed out a direction and stuck with it and nailed it uh, for the last trips back out. Uh, yeah, I should have done that earlier. Anyways, it was a fun trip, but I am exhausted. <laughs> 